What's going on guys? Chuck here. Uh, I just want to take a minute here to uh, show you some of my new additions to the home theater here in the basement. And it's basically it's my uh, home theater seating that I just recently got. I actually had part of this for about a month or so, um, but I just got the remainder of it today from uh, Valencia Home Theater seating. So I'm going to share that with you right now. Okay, so here we go. There you have it. Pardon the, you know, kind of a little bit of a mess back there. We're still working on some things. But this is it. This is uh, Valencia Home from Valencia Home Theater seating. This is their uh, Pichenza, I believe it was called, if I remember right, uh, series. And these are, obviously you see it's a row of five. They all interlock together. Initially, I had just bought the, the three. Just these, let's see, this middle row right here were the first three I bought. I got them off of Amazon uh, for a pretty good price. And as I wasn't sure basically how much room I had down here, how I want to sort these out. So initially I thought I'd do three here and maybe I'd, you know, kind of put some uh, like on the corner here. But the more I thought about it, it's like I have room to stick some here on the ends to, you know, make them a big giant row. The problem was when I looked around, I couldn't find individual seats. They all came in kind of in groups and pairs of two, three, four, you know, whole sets as it were. Um, but so I called the, or I actually went, went I called the, uh, Valencia City themselves and talked to them, and they had told me that I can get in, in, in individual seats uh, by talking to them personally. So, and I was able to get a left and a right arm uh, chair to put basically on the back end or on the ends of each of these and make one big row of five, which is really nice. Um, so that worked out really good. Like I said, the two on the ends just came in. That's today is Monday, uh, Thursday. They were delivered on Thursday. Uh, we got down here on Sunday because we were out of town over the weekend. But let me just say that Valencia has got fantastic customer service. When I got these first three from Amazon, uh, they made a point to contact me personally, uh, call me, basically give me all the details of, you know, the shipment, how, you know, what was coming, how we packed, all this good stuff. Um, and they kept, you know, uh, they basically stuck with it, make sure, I was having some problems with the first uh, shipment getting uh, delayed from the trucking company. They worked it out, got it taken care of. They followed up on to see how things were going, uh, even after we got the seating. And let me tell you, these uh, little sidebar, these here, these little swivel tables you see here, these were free gifts from Valencia. Um, basically, they called me, this is actually a wine glass holder, which is really cool, um, and asked, you know, to do if I could give them some kind of social media review on like a couple different uh, their sites. And in doing so, they sent me, for each review, I got a free accessory. Well, these accessories run about 100 bucks a piece. Um, and I got three of these nice little end tables here with swivel, which are really cool, because uh, they were basically out of stock. They only had th uh, three. Um, so I got three of those, and I opted my fourth one as a wine glass holder, which my wife likes to have her glasses of wine and this you know she tested it out last night we were watching the oscars <laughs> it came in handy she really enjoyed it um, these are really nice like i said they swivel out as you can see and of course they also you can pop them in and out interchangeable just like that they're they're really cool now the seat themselves as you can see they're all this very high quality leather um, I just, they're very, very calm. A little stiff when you first sit into them, but it's pretty calm. But once you, they break in very easily. Like, you know, my middle seat, I sit in the center seat, which gives you the great center view of the screen here. Turn my flash off. And this seat is quite broken in. So it's very, very comfortable. Um, all of these have, get around here, the track lighting you see here. The bottoms of them will light up see if I can get these all lit up here okay try to keep everything on camera sorry so 
you see all the cup holders lit up now. So that's pretty cool. And of course, back up all that right there. Now the downside with this is with the projection screen, you can't really use the track lighting. Um, I mean, you can't at this point, but once you recline back, the light will flash right in that screen and it'll put a big glare on there. You can see kind of see a glare there now. So that's not really gonna work, but you know what, I just have the TV in use, it works out pretty well. Also on these, if you can see, there's also a little USB charger. Here, let me turn that glare off. Each one has a little USB charger. And of course, here, buttons to recline. And these go really way back. I'll pull back here. And they're very soft, very smooth. Easy to recline. You see, we've got these pretty close to the wall. And it's still, you know, a lot of good space. We're probably going to push it even a little bit closer. Um, but obviously, put them back here to hide these cords. And it opens up all this space here in the front. And it's a very good distance from the screen. But, uh, again, in the reclining seat, very, very comfortable. Also, you've got each one of these has these very deep, 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 I mean deep uh, little consoles. Okay, here, i got more controls down in there. But each one of them has these, so yeah, they're probably deep enough to hide a wine bottle <laughs> if you really wanted. And I have some friends that would probably really want to. So, let me get this reclaim back. So, again, so you can see actually, you can see here, I tell it's in breaking it up and sitting in it getting nice and, and comfy. The two of the ends, like I said, are very, very new. Um, but this is, I am so, so, uh, pleased with these seats. Um, and again, the other thing too was the, the two I bought at the ends when I got them directly from Valencia, uh, it was around President's Day, so they were having a sale. So I got these or, uh, marked off extremely for, I think, you know, they probably went well over a thousand dollars. They were down by 800 bucks for each seat. So actually a pretty good deal. Uh, and actually you, you check their website. They're always, it seems like they're always running some kind of sale and they're worth it. And they have plenty of varieties and styles. I just happen to like this style a lot. And also granted when I bought the first three from Amazon, they're probably the most affordable ones, but I do like them. And the more they're down here, uh, I get used to them. Uh, I really, really am enjoying it because I like to have uh, movie nights. I invite people over. It's kind of cool to have this set up. I said last night we watched the Oscars. I had some uh, friend over. We have the kids out here, all this seating. So the first time we kind of broke it in with a, uh, someone here watching something. Uh, we, we put it up on the big screen. And it was great. It was very comfortable. Uh, a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to hosting some big movie nights um, here in the future. When we get everything fully set up, you see we're still not quite there. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'll give you a quick tour while I'm here. Uh, that's my daughter's chair. <laughs> She's sitting in, but you see, I still got, I got some decorations hung up here. Again, it's still a little bit of a mess. My office is still coming together, but I did get some wall decorations. Um, I got a bookshelf up. I'm still waiting to anchor it down, and I got some posters that I'm going to be hanging up here shortly. I'm going to get frames of my, some of my James Bond posters and about where they're going to go. But like I said, I got these uh, three bookshelves here. I'm going to anchor. I can get my little library put together. And of course, this is the many of my son hangs out and plays the video games. And we just got them a little futon here, which is, you know, extra seating for them, for the kids. And that's been they've enjoyed that. You know, my son likes to lounge on there playing video games now and kind of forgets about his, his own personal chair. <laughs> um, some more of my recent posters of Savage Streets, my American Werewolf in London. Of course, back behind the screen is still the TV. Well, we were here. I do have some 
little mini posters. There's Night of Demons was autographed by Linnea Quigley. Uh, Silent Night, the other night, also sign, signed by Linnea Quigley. And then I have a mini American Werewolf in London, signed by David Naughton. You see my reflection. <laughs> Over here, there's my Texas Chainsaw Massacre, signed by Grandpa himself, John Dugan. On the back wall here, I got a nice swamp thing and Escape from New York. And it's dead and buried, autographed here by director Gary Sherman. Saying, Welcome to Potter's Bluff. It's kind of hard to make it out with this glare here. I do apologize. And then back four here, I've got. These four classics, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on the Street, Halloween, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Over here, got my Oscar shelf up. I think I've already, already shown that. Got my Oscar poster hung up, my 85th, so it's like 10 years old now. i am still got stuff I'm working on here. <laughs> my Terror in the Isles poster. This nice little popcorn sign, which is kind of cool. I do like that. It lights up. Makes for a nice little image. And here I've got Creep Show, which is, you can see in the reflection, the stairway, that's what's kind of cool when you walk open the basement. That's the first thing you see is the Creep Show poster. That was kind of a nice image. You've got like the, 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 I guess, you know, those, the Creep taking tickets for admission. That's kind of cool for theater. Um, here, of course, the great big, great wall of movies I've got up here, and that's you won't really get to see the top of it when you see my videos. But here's some of the stuff I've got up here my tin Texas chainsaw signed by Grandpa again, some of my, my black hole VHS limited edition, some of my little knickknacks, a few of my trinkets, and whatnot. And then my Screen Factory poster for Friday the 13th. I got some stuff I got to put on the shelves and all my wrestling. I have the Superman Returns poster sitting here. I'm deciding what I'm going to do with that one. I got sports DVDs over here. I've got my other Friday the 13th. And then I've got my Darcy calendar. All my little drive-in. Last drive-in kind of tin there. Uh, this classic movie quote hanging, which I'm going to hang up here eventually. So, figuring that out. <clears throat> and I got some miscellaneous stuff here. And, of course, here I've got my TV rack. So, that is basically a really quick, down and dirty tour of the basement home theater. I guess I could bring it over here. I didn't really show you. Here's the posters. I had better view of the posters I just put up here. The Jaws, Superman, Flash Gordon. Empire, this Empire Strikes Back poster, which I really like. It's not really the common one you see, but I really like this image, so I, I went with this one over the traditional one. And, of course, one of my all-time favorites, Last American Virgin. And then I've got this I really like the Star Trek motion picture poster. I've got Grease over here. I'm going to get a frame for it, hang it up. I've got Batman 89 up, and I'm going to put up Batman Returns right next to it. Again, waiting for frames. And then this wall here, which is so blank, I actually think I'm going to be sticking Indiana Jones on that wall. That's the plan. So, and here's a back view, if you want, from the seats to the screen. You see, I've kind of, I kind of fixed my cord problem. I showed you uh, previously. I was able to cover this up. This is still hanging because the, the the plastic piece I have is a little long. I need to clip it on the edge. But I was able to get the cord up out of the way somewhat. It's still kind of dangling a bit there, but it's out of the way for now, and it's a work in progress. But it's better than it was. Anywho, <clears throat> that is. It for now, again, this is, a, as I was saying earlier, kind of down and dirty 
cheap tour <laughs> of the update progress of the home theater in the basement uh, along with the new seating here uh, from Valencia Home Theater. Again, if you're in the market for home theater seating, I highly, highly recommend uh, getting them. You won't be disappointed. Like I said, several different styles to choose from. Uh, I am uh, beyond pleased with these seats. I'm so glad. Like, best purchase I ever have made um, down here. It really brings the whole home theater aspect together. So if you are looking for home theater seating, uh, you would do yourself, you'd be doing yourself a favor to, to, to look into getting you some, something from Valencia home theater seating. So, okay. On that note, that is it for me. Uh, thank you for coming along on this quick little base, uh, basement tour. Uh, until next time, and when I get everything completely finished or at least closer to it, I'll post again an update on that. So until next time, this is Chuck saying I will see you on the other side.